Hey there, this is Shweta. In today's video, we are talking all about Gumroad. So Gumroad is a great platform if you're looking to start selling digital products online, even if you don't have a website. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the pricing of the platform, the pros and cons, and then I'll take you over to my laptop to show you how you can start using Gumroad and sell your digital product today. So let's talk about pricing. Now Gumroad used to have a very different pricing structure. Very recently, they've come up with a new pricing structure. So now they charge 10% flat fee, no matter how many products you have, no matter if this is the first time you're selling or you've, you've been selling with them for a while, nothing matters. You're just going to pay them 10% of whatever you make. So let's say you have a digital product you're selling for $10. If someone buys the product, you're going to pay $1 to Gumroad, which is like 10% of $10. So that's how their pricing works. Uh, and this is excluding any credit card fees or any PayPal fees that you'll have to pay in addition to this 10%. Uh, now let's talk about some pros of using the platform. So of course, the biggest advantage of using Gumroad is you don't need a website to start selling digital products and you don't need to have a paid platform. So you'll only pay Gumroad when you have a sale. So they don't charge a monthly fee or a yearly fee. They only charge a flat fee on whatever you sell. So those are the two big pros. And of course, the speed to market, you don't have to wait to create a, you know, a design, a really good looking page or build a website to sell your digital products. The disadvantage of using Gumroad is again, since they don't have a monthly fee, they're charging a flat 10%, which could become really expensive depending on how many digital products you're selling. Let's say you sell like 1000 copies of $10 digital products. That's $10,000 that you're making, but you are paying Gumroad thousand dollars out of that so again depending on where you're at in your digital product journey uh, whether you're selling ebooks memberships or whatever it is that fee could just add up also the other disadvantage with gumroad is that you can't really build really pretty looking sales pages or really complex funnels using the platform so if you're someone who's more advanced like you want to sell your courses and you want to sell trip uh, you want to build tripwire funnels you want to build beautiful sales pages then gumroad might not be the platform for you Having said that, if you're a beginner, if you're just getting started with selling online, Gumroad is a great platform to get started with. So let's hop over to my screen and I'll show you exactly how you can get started with Gumroad. Let's get into it. If you don't already have a Gumroad account, you can find a link in the description box to get started. Once you're inside your Gumroad account, the first thing you want to do is make sure your profile is set up. So when you scroll down, you'll see your name and click on profile. And this is where you want to set up your profile. So you can just hit the edit profile button here and get started. So you want to set up your username. I'm actually going to change this uh, to my brand and then so this is how your profile would look. So you can click here to preview your profile and then you can add your name here. So I'm just going to change it. You can add your bio here and then you want to add your logo. So this could be either your image if it's a personal brand or you can add your logo. I do have a logo here, so I'm just going to add. Okay, and then you can change the highlight color here for your profile. I'm just going to change it to like a blue. That's it. And then if you want to connect your Twitter, you can do that here. Uh, depending on how you want to sort your products, you can do highly rated, highest rated or most reviewed price. So I'll just do low to high. And then I will just click on update settings. You also want to make sure you have your payout options set up. So either you can link the payout method to be a bank account or a debit card with all of your details here, as well as your personal information here. You want to make sure you fill this up, your identity verification as well. And then if you want to use PayPal under payments, you'll, be, you'll have the option to connect your PayPal account. 
So now we've done this. Let's get started with setting up our product and uh, let's start selling it. So you want to go under products and click on new product. So the purpose for the purpose of this video, the product I'm selling is an ebook called Break into Tech. So I'll just choose ebook here and I'll name it uh, Break into Tech Guide. Okay, and then the price is going to be $9 and then I'll click on next. So customize. This is where you want to add all of your description, your URL. So for the URL, I'm going to just say break into tech. So this is my URL. You want to cover photo and a thumbnail. So let's first add our description. I do have a description written out here, so I'm just going to copy it here. Uh, with the description, there are some basic editing options. So like I mentioned earlier, one of the disadvantages is that you're going to have a pretty basic uh, sales page, which is fine if you're just getting started. So uh, I'm just going to um, edit some of the text here and you can bold italicize underline do all of those things here uh, you could actually also add a video if you wanted to to promote your digital product if it's a little more high in cost you could add images you could also add links for now i'm just going to use text and uh, then I want to first add my thumbnail. So what I did was I created this um, ebook cover for my ebook in Canva. So I created my ebook in Canva. And then for the ebook cover, all I did was I just uh, chose a A4 document and just uh, under design, just search for ebook cover. And then I just used this template to create this design. So for the thumbnail, I'm just going to convert this into the size of 600 by 600 pixels. And since I have the pro account, I can just use the resize option to convert it. So this is the converted uh, thumbnail image. If you don't use a pro, pro account, you could just create a new uh, Canva image, uh, 600 by 600 pixels and just copy the design here. So I'm just going to download this here and then upload it as a thumbnail I'm just going to save this and upload this one so this is my thumbnail it's ready this is what they're going to see uh, under like all products list on my profile and then i also want to add the cover photo so what i'm going to do is i'm actually going to create a mock-up of this ebook cover the way i'm going to do it is i'm going to download this ebook cover first and then i'm going to add a page here and i'm going to uh, add that image here So now I have the ebook cover. Now I want to edit the image and I want to go into smart mockup. So here you have the option to convert this directly into a mockup. Uh, so I'm going to look for a book mockup image. Okay, this is the one I want to use. So this is a book mockup. So this is now converted into a mockup. I'm going to change the background to white. Now I'm going to download this mockup to use for my cover photo. Then I want to go back to home and for the cover photo, you need 1280 into 720. So that's what I'm going to create. So create a new design, add custom size 1280 into 720. I'm going to create this new design. I'm going to add that mockup here. So I'm just going to get the mock-up added here um, and then maybe from here I can copy some of the elements could design it um, however you want I just went back and changed the background for this mock-up because I wanted it to look like this so I'm just going to download this cover photo now and upload it on Gumroad here upload this image from computer files this is the one 
Okay, so this is how it's going to look like. Again, just wanted to quickly show you how to do it. Um, this is uh, a preview of your page. And then call to action, you could change what you want to call this. Um, again, you can add a summary here. So if you wanted to, I'll just say you'll get, you'll get a resume template. step by step instructions video tutorial and then if you wanted to add value for it you could add that so this could be worth 20 bucks this could be worth 10 bucks this could be like worth 40 um and then if you wanted to add any integrations you could do that here as well this is the amount uh, if you wanted to add a variation of this product, let's say I wanted to do a pro version of this where I'm also offering a one-on-one 30-minute -on -one call, I could add a pro version here. So the first version is the basic guide, basic uh, guide. So basic, let's say break into tech basic. This is the basic version and then additional amount no because i want to sell it for nine and then you can add a version where i call this break into tech pro get an additional 30 additional 30 minute call with me and then additional amount would be let's say 99 dollars uh, or $90 so total it'd be 99 and then maybe I want to limit this to only five people I could add that here and then there are other settings here where you could limit how many you want to sell uh, you can allow people to uh, share uh, buy more than one you could also generate a unique license so uh, they're not able to you know share with other people uh, and just make sure everything is correct. I'm going to save changes. And then we're going to go under content. So this is where you're actually sharing uh, the guide with them. So I'm just uh, add a PDF here. So I'm just going to click on this and click on computer files. And this is a PDF that I'm sharing. And then for the pro version, I have a different PDF, which is pro version. So I'll share that here. I'll upload those here. So they are uploaded. And save changes. And then check out if you want to add a discount code, you can add that here. You don't need shipping information if you're selling an ebook. And then under receive, this is the button they'll see. You could, of course, change this. And then when you want to uh, start sharing uh, this guide, let's say you want to add it to your Instagram bio or on other social media platforms, you want to make sure you publish it and then you can start sharing it. You can also add a tag. Uh, you can also you also have these other options. I'm just going to say no for now. Save changes. And you just want to make sure your content is there so the PDFs are attached here uh, you can also write any text here so here is the break into tech guide download it below so whatever you want to write you could write that here as well and then again make sure to save changes go back to product and yes so everything is ready so this is the link so when you share this link this is where people will be uh, redirected to so it is your break into tech guide this is all the description you have two different versions and so this is how a su the summary will appear. What you want to do is make sure add, you add a dollar sign here. Otherwise, it's looking really weird. So I can go back here and click on or just go below here and add a dollar sign. And then save changes. 
So when I refresh this, yep, so this appears like this. You can also totally skip this. So this is a very easy platform to get started with. Again, like I said, if this, if this is your first time selling digital products, Gumroad is a great platform for you. Uh, I hope this uh, video was helpful for you. If you did find this video helpful, don't forget to put a thumbs up for this video and subscribe to this channel for more such videos. Thank you again. And if you have any questions about Gumroad, post them in the comments and I would be happy to answer them. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.